Okay, welcome to Viticulture 100. Today uh, it's April 30th, so it's a good time to bud some grapes. I want to change this variety. So I've come in with the loppers. I've cut the tops off of all of these grapes here. These are grafted on 1103 rootstock. This is Vidal Blanc. It's just starting the bud out. We're in a cold, low-lying area here. And so we want to change Vidal Blanc over to a better cultivar. So I've cut these off. You can see the buds are already starting to push. I've utilized these loppers and then every time I use my equipment I'm sterilizing it and rubbing alcohol so that if there is anything on this material I'm not spreading it from one vine to the other uh, just in case this uh, bud wood is not clean. I'm going to go ahead and dip my pruners too. So the first thing I want to do is again cut the top off and then what I'm going to do is select an area on the stem suitable for grafting. And so I'm thinking it's going to be in this area right here. So I'm going to cut this off. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to relieve some of the sap from flowing. Okay, stop it. Okay, I'm going to relieve some of the sap from flowing. So I'm going to relieve that with a cut there and a little cup there. I'm not going all the way around, but the sap will pour from there and that way it won't push the buds off. And so in this area here, I'm going to strip off this bark. If there was any, if this was more mature, there'd be a lot more bark and I'd just rub it off. Okay. And now what I want to do is take my nice sharp knife, dip it in the rubbing alcohol to make sure it's nice and clean, sterilized. I'm going to take my bud wood, and the reason I'm doing this now is the buds are just starting to push out. That's a little bit big for the buds. That's perfect. That's perfect. They're just starting to swell, and so I'm going to take this. It takes some, uh, it takes some practice so you don't cut yourself. So I'm going to point the knife down, and with some pressure, I'm going to try and take off that bud in just a chip. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. Use the pruners if need be. And so what I have here is the bud on this side. I know which side is up and down. If there's any confusion, there's a leaf scar underneath. And so you'll see your three buds that could potentially come out. Right here um, is cambium layer. All that green, I want to connect to cambium layer on here. So this is just one bud. Typically this is done in twos. I'm going to form a bilateral cordon system along this wire. So I'd put one bud on either side and then train these up to the wire. So right now we got one bud. I'm going to show you how to connect this. Take your sharp knife. Start with a cut here. You got to learn not to cut yourself. People who do this for a living can do this really fast. Um, and now what I'm going to do, if you want to come around and look on this side a little bit, I'm going to cut down and peel down and it makes a chip. All right, and so I'm going to come down, make that chip, and then I'm going to go a little bit further, and it's going to leave a little bit of a flap there. That's going to hold my bud. Okay, stop it. Okay, so now I have my bud. I have this little flap. I got cambium here. I got cambium here. This has to happen pretty quick so this doesn't dry out. If I was doing these all day long and it was hot, I might put them into water. People that are experts can cut these, and they can flip them up into their mouth, hold them, cut it down, wrap it, and do everything in under a minute, but I'm not that quick. So I'm going to insert my bud here. Actually, a good thing to do too is, is make a little bit of a connection with the cambium on top so that it's just one more spot where it's going to connect. So you see that there? Looks pretty good. Right? Yeah. Next thing you're going to do now is that if this is in connection and I've tested it and I have one on either side, I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to hold it with my finger there and leave myself a little extra piece, and I'm going to wrap around this. Sometimes this is done with sticky tape, sometimes it's done with Teflon tape. I like to just use the screen tape because it's readily available in the vineyards. I'm going to wrap along under this bud. Yes. I'm going to wrap over this bud. I'm going to come around, come back down. Come back over, and then I'm going to tie this off. So now, 
what will happen is we've relieved the pressure here. Sap is going to already start flowing out. This bud is going to take. It's going to push out. We're going to have 1103 in a Vidal Blanc interstock. And then we're going to have our Scion Wood uh, desirable new product that we're changing these all over to. All right. Thank you for checking out this lesson. And if they are successful, I'll show you a follow-up video. If they're not successful, I'll just tell you this is the way to do it. And you can try it on your own. Chino Valley Agribusiness uh, Greenhouse. We have some grapes here. This is a uh, rootstock. We've been growing the rootstock because we're transitioning them over doing the top working and we've done it a couple different ways. And so I'm going to uh, show you some examples here today. Okay, so here we go. We have our rootstock. I'm just gonna cut the top off. I'm going to go down a little ways here, cut the top off, I see viable wood there, I'm going to strip the bark down, strip the bark, strip the bark, very uh, pliable, and so now I'm going to take my bud wood, look for a suitable bud, I'll go with that one there. This has been soaking in water overnight, it came out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to cut down and away from myself. Okay, it makes a nice uh, kind of a chip. I'm going to trim that up just a little bit. Make sure there's a little bit of connection of cambium. So here we go. We got a bud chip. We got flat cambium on the back side. This is where the new sprouts are going to come from. And what I'm going to do is connect it here. So I need to start with an incision. This will keep it, the knife from sliding down and cutting my hand. I'm going to slide it down. Slide down. I'm trying to develop a spot where that bud will hold. Okay, there we go. I'm going to insert the bud into here. Need to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, good connection there. Cambium to cambium. It's connected. That's perfect. And now this time I'm going to wrap with just regular electrical tape. So I'm going to start down here below, work my way up, make sure that stays flush, make that connection, tie it off. There we go. We have one bud now on the rootstock of our desirable rootstock. Vale más un buen amor que mil costales de oro. Vale más un buen amor, por eso eres mi tesoro. Valgo mucho junto a ti y soy muy feliz contigo. Vales mucho para mí. In this example, we have a rootstock. I know it's viable because I can see the uh, growth coming out of it. If I scrape the bark just a bit, I still see green, viable bark. We did a, we used a grafting machine for some practice and the, uh, the grafting machine puts this nice notch and so what we did was we notched it, we attached it and we left a bud here for sprouting out. 
The problem is, is this is one that did not take because if I take this off, you can see the uh, you can see the notch that was cut and the receptor notch there. This okay, this is a follow up to the grafting we were doing inside the Chino Valley greenhouse. You can see I wrapped it with electrical tape. This is the rootstock here, and then uh, we can actually look at our. Uh, grafted plant here coming out. This is the end of May, so I think I did this about four weeks ago. This one happens to have grown out uh, four or five inches or so. Some of the other ones are just now breaking. But we can take this tape off. I'll start to take this off. Okay, so here we go. Um, tape is off. And you can see this here. Um, I'm not very good at this. The callus is formed all down here. And so luckily when I wounded it, it, it attached here. Um, the top, you can see separation there. So this really isn't a good graft, but it's connected enough that it's, that it's pushing out. And it's just connected down in this area. You can see how this callus has swelled and completely uh, enclosed this. This will continue to heal and eventually this will be um, completely covered. But again, that's not exactly what we're looking for. And that's why people who do this for a living uh, make big bucks doing this. And I, I need quite a bit more practice. But as you can imagine, vineyards changing over or top working is uh, a pretty big deal. And so there's a lot of money to be made in, in grafting.